Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I want to take a look at material search in 3D Warehouse. So you've been able to pull materials out of 3D Warehouse for a little while, but we'll go over how that process works also. But the newer version, uh, this is 2003, August 2023, has an ability to go in and actually uh, search for material names as well. So pretty cool. Uh, and I just want to run through how that works. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm starting with a pretty simple model here. Um, okay, it's not simple. It's a couple hours of modeling, but a lot of geometry here and everything's everything's white. But if I look at the colors in model right here, just the default material is the only thing we have across this whole thing. So what I want to look at is going and rather than importing an image or you know dropping down using some of the default images i want to find a material and pull it off a of 3d warehouse and use it right in here so i'm going to do that by clicking the 3d warehouse button that's going to pull through so i'm just going to take my colors window and just slide it off the screen real quick and we're going to search we're going to search for um we're going to search for a brick wall just going to type right in here and hit search that's going to bring up a bunch of, in this case, is the, the first thing is, is products that are brick walls. So in here, I, I see things like CAD detail and uh, you know, a brick detail and then some materials that have maybe brick in the name somewhere, something like that. Uh, but I'm going to just go past all of that right to this last tab here that says materials. I'm going to click on that. This is going to search through 3D Warehouse and rather than show 3D models, it's going to pick materials out that have that same, the search name, brick wall, in it. And it's going to show me here's a bunch of materials that are called brick wall. So what I could do in here is I could go, okay, let's look for a material that I like and pull it into my model. So I can scroll through here. Ooh, look at that. That broken brick, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I can just grab it from here. So the information on here is pretty basic. It does tell me the size of the file. So this is a cool looking, actually kind of fits my building, but it's three megabytes and it's fairly large, fairly high detail. So maybe I'll keep scrolling, see if I can find something else comparable to, to that. And ooh, here we go. This is nice and light um, and pretty small, pretty small material. I'm gonna check it out, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna hit download right here. Now when I download, I'm going to come over here and grab my colors window, bring it back onto the screen. When I download it, it brings it into the model and it puts it in the paint bucket. So it's ready to be applied right now. So I can just come in here and start dropping on these components. And yeah, I like the look of that. That looks pretty cool. Um, super quick, super easy way to get materials for something like this. I mean, I still I still advocate and, and probably always will. Ooh, I did not like the way that applied. Um, we can fix that in a second. Uh, I will still advocate for getting your own materials for sure. If, if you're doing something like this, taking a picture of a brick wall or finding a uh, tiling brick pattern or something like architectures, great way to do this kind of thing. But failing that in a pinch, rather than you know just having the, the stock materials or something like that, being able to come in and, I'm really gonna overdo it with this, this material as I talk. Um, Rather than doing that, being able to pick a material real quick, man, it's it's hard it's hard to beat that. Uh, how quick you can grab a good material and find it with with this. That was kind of neat that we found a material that was called brick wall. But let's let's go look at something else. So with brick wall, I'm just gonna use the same same search feature. I just brought 3D Warehouse back up, so it's still showing me the same results as the last the last search I did. But if I come over here and go to models. It's going to show me brick wall models. So I could come through here and, and if I find maybe a wall or a model that has good looking brick walls, I could always come through and, you know, check out and see what else. So if I click this one right here, any of these, I can always check the material. So if I bring the material up, it's going to show me here's the materials that are in this particular model. That's not a very good example. Let's back up one. Let's try again. Let's let's find something with a little bit better material on it. Um, ooh, that looks kind of cool. A fireplace. Let's see, it says seven material count. Oh yeah, look at that. 
I like that. So this is another way to find it. So I have this material and this material I'm pulling not out of the materials list. It didn't just go grab materials out because it's called brick tile. I searched for brick wall. So this brick tile would never have shown up, but because something about this model triggered the search term brick wall, I can find this brick tile and download it. Same thing, put colors back on. It's now in my bucket. So now I can come in and maybe apply this to some different faces. You know, put these on the, the faces and leave the columns like they were. Something like that. Now, I'm just, I'm just playing with adding the materials. The important part is the searching. Ew, that does not look good. Fair put that back the way it was. Um, but the important part is how quick it is and easy it is to get those materials. So regardless of what you're looking for, if you're looking for grass, wood, wood, oh, wood, let's just go look at wood real quick, all right? Let's just go here back to home and we'll, we'll look for something like wood grain. All right, so again, default, look at some, some products and some models, but if we come to materials, look at this, oh man, so cool. So many different options, different colors of wood. Not everything's gonna be awesome, right? This is obviously like a, a material you would put into a CAD drawing to represent that there's wood there. But a lot of these are gonna be pretty nice looking wood and uh, a lot of options that I can pull from here. So a great option to have. And again, this is just part of 3D Warehouse. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to go download an extra extension or download files and import them. You can bring them directly into SketchUp with a click. So simple process, really easy, but it's amazing. I've, I've just started playing this a little bit. Um, I, 3D Warehouse just came out not that long ago and I haven't had a whole lot of time to plan it, but as I have been, I have been loving the fact that I go through and get, some of these are some pretty high definition, like big files of some really photorealistic textures. And it's pretty cool that they're all there for the taking. You do have to, like any search engine, you got to get used to what to search for. What are people naming these files? What kind of models do I find the best materials in? Once you get that down and get kind of the idea of the right things to search for, you can find some awesome materials kind of on the fly as you're modeling that make great, great, great ways to make your take your models and just kind of go to that next level. That's it for now. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos a week around here, including some live streams, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Have you searched the warehouse for materials before? What did you come up with? Are there a specific way to search that you find works really well? Is there another aspect of SketchUp you think would make a good video? Let us know, because we like making these videos, but we'd like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.